The person in front is meticulously examining it. This device, featuring the 395 chip, boasts super strong integrated graphics. He appears to be filming in cinematic quality. The body is slightly thinner than I anticipated, with a unique back design. Note the optical mouse on the bottom right, two recessed volume adjustment buttons, a crystal action button, and the mouse handlebar switch now being a button. The bottom left edge. There's a home button and a lanyard hole. The power button is quite large with an aperture ring. The bottom seems to have only one Type-C port. Let's set it to high quality and see the frame rate. The super sampling rate here is 90, frames are unlocked, and it can exceed 60 FPS, which is amazing. Besides the Type-C, the bottom right should be the slot for a very, very small SSD. On top, there are two large heat vents, and in the middle is the fourth power port. Headphone jack, Type-A, and USB 4. The back features two back buttons, a trigger switch, and the battery connector below. Folks, the handheld device with a replaceable battery has finally arrived. Just align it with a power connector and secure the battery with the two top clips. It's quite firm once installed, indeed not light, but very easy to remove. The battery is 81 hours. The company has also developed a multi-function dock where the battery fits directly. It charges on top and connects to the handheld's back ports. Clever design. I await its release.